while I'm covering myself, am I not going to get wet? And while you are walking that way, are you not going to get wet? We'll have our Shikadabu speakers and we'll also have our speakers from Rima. And your proposal or your prompt that we'll be discussing is, is climate change the most important human rights issue, okay? Well, climate change, climate change, climate change. Climate change is the most important human rights issue. Climate change is the periodic modification of the Earth's climate brought about as a result of changes in the atmosphere. And human rights are moral, are, are moral principles and norms that are affected by the climate change. So to say, climate change is the greatest threat to human rights posing a serious task to the human inalienable fundamental rights. Climate change could push 122 million more people, mainly farmers, into extreme poverty by 2030 and water scarcity affecting 40% of the world's population. And Professor Nyango Valentine contributing or rather proposing and making it clear that clim climate change is the most important human rights issue. The fact is, sudden extreme weather events is exacerbated by climate change such as extreme heat, wildfires and extreme rainfall from storms often lead people to losing their lives resulting to high death tolls. Emission of gases from factories and vehicles causes air pollution, and dimi which diminishes ozone layer. In our future 2030, what can we see? Our ozone layer being diminished and become like, for example, in the northern parts of Kenya, there is drought. Why drought? Because of the ozone layer. O ozone layer is diminishing because of what we do as, as people. So what can we cap this? What, how can we help the people in, the, in northern parts of Kenya? How? But like... Mandera, but like Agarisa, they are starving. Why? What, what can we help? How can we help them? Throughout 2019 and early 2020, over 100 fires spread across several regions of Australia. These extreme fires led to the loss of over 400 lives due to the fires and smoke inhalation, affecting our major right, right to life, really. Climate change is a major is a major threat is a major threat and this threat is right to life right to life Climate change isn't simply a political or an economic issue but a human history but a human rights issue perhaps the biggest one in human history What's more unless emissions are reduced significantly around 600 million people are likely to experience droughts and famine as a result of climate change. There's a direct link between climate change and human rights. It's our right to have adequate food, to have adequate and right to housing, but due to increased temperatures and changes in rainfall patterns, in areas like Turkana, Bamba, in Kilifi and Garissa are suffering because of these climate changes which has led to erosion and desertification, <laughs> making productive land infertile and reduced crops and li livestock. Sudden extreme weather events, such as flooding and storms, have destroyed the houses of common people, which are later left homeless. This has denied our right to life, water, food and housing, leading to causes each and every day. As I live, I leave you with this living quote of Alanis Obomsawim that says, when the last tree is cut, the last fish is caught, and the last river is polluted. When to, when to breath air is sickening, you will, re you will realize too late that wealth is not a bank account and you can't eat money. Thank you. You cannot remove someone's speck if you have not removed yours. My name is Livuna Nyamawi from Rima Mixed Secondary School. I'm here by humble expressing my interest in motion which states that climate change is the greatest human rights issue. What do you understand about human rights, this climate change? Climate change is a change in Earth's weather, including the change in temperature, 
wind pattern and rainfall. And what about this human right? When you heard about human right, what, what, what about it? Human right is one of the basic rights that everyone has to, to be treated equally or not, not in a cruel way, especially by their government. Change in Earth's weather is not the main concern every, that everyone has to be treated fairly, especially by their government. We are not here to argue about climate change not being the, the, important, the important human rights issue, but it's not the most important. How if we talk about social, social factors? Social factors like tribalism. In Kenya, there is full of tribalism. Even, in, for example, at work. You can't work in a company where there is no one of your tribe. It will be like, ah, no, you are not in this tribe. You are belong to this tribe, so we can't work with you. Why can't we solve this? Because solving tribalism, it only takes little time. In matter of solving climate change, it will take, it will take long to solve climate change. On the other hand, what about racism? In, in terms of racism, people, they said, ah, we can't work with black, black ones or the white ones because they belong in other color or we can't work with them. Why can't we solve about racism? We find, we just wondering, working in climate change. This climate change, even like for example, there is rain and you are, you are inside the house, the, the rain will not just fill on you. And when you are in a job where you, there is no one even do anything about you, it's just like, oh, okay, what you want to do, just do it. No one is correcting you. When you do a mistake, just, ah, okay, continue. That is what you, you, you are here to do. Then what will be that? If you can't be corrected just because you are belong to this tribe, or you can't be employed in a job because you're this tribe or this color, what is that? So we have to solve this before before we solve climate change. Thank you. My opponent who just left the floor, she said that it will take a little time to solve tribalism, but it will take a long time to solve climate change. What does that statement mean? It means that tribalism it is not the most important human right issue. That's why it will take a short time. And it will take a long time to solve climate change issues because these are the most important human right issues. Whatever my opponents have said, climate change threatens the enjoyment of a wide range of human rights. And in the last decade, human rights bodies have recorded a spike in associated human rights violation. My name is Dr. Is Dr. Rashid Imselem, proposing the motion that states climate change is the most important human rights issue. Focusing on the Sahel in Africa, a region comprising Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Niger, Nigeria, Senegal, and Gambia. The record highlights some of the key factors, the key health, the key human rights factors, challenges, being faced due to the interco interconnection to climate change. <coughs> this is one of the most, this is one of the most effects of climate change. Climate change is affecting the people's right to health. The health of thousands of people across the continent is being undermined, despite the fact that they have their own right to a health and sustainable condition. People are suffering from gastrointestinal diseases like diarrhea, effects on body's nerves, respiratory system, or liver and kidney damages. Climate change is also affecting people's right to a health environment. Climate change presents a huge challenge to the enjoyment to a right, to the enjoyment to the right to a safe, clean, healthy, and sustainable environment. According to Andrew Wasike, the Turkana people have persevered in an arid landscape, but whether in this but whether in this region, in Kenya's northwestern part, the weather is getting even more erratic due to climate change putting the Turkanas at more risk. Climate change is also affecting people's right to water and sanitation. 
Climate change is affecting and will continue to affect the affordability, availability, quality and accessibility of water resources. This is mostly due to factors such as melting of snows and ice, reduced rainfall, high temperatures and sea level rise. In Kenya, people living in counties such as Marsabit, Mandera, Turkana and many more. These people are getting a hard time to the essential supply of clean water. These people are getting a hard time to get what it is right for them. They're not getting the right water. And even if they get the water, it is not, health, it is not healthy to their bodies. These areas have been affected, reaching a point whereby people have to, lo to walk for miles in order to get the water. And the water they get, as I said, it is not even healthy to their bodies. Are the people living in such areas not worthy to the right of clean water and sanitation? And if yes, then climate change has something to do to the suffering. Mr. Speaker, you cannot get through a single day without having an impact on the world around you. And the greatest threat of our planet is that someone else will change it. I would like to leave by saying that I'm sure I have convinced you and not confused you that climate change is the most important human right issue. Thank you. Yes, you are talking about farmers being poor and they are already poor. What the purpose of eradicating climate change if the farmers are already poor? Talking about saving people, which people are you saving? Because people are dying now and you want to save them. <laughs> is that sanity or insanity? Money is sharper than the sword, indeed. We cannot eradicate climate change if we don't solve the most important things which are affecting us now. My name is Amin Abdelai. The most important thing is to solve is poor economics. Because we cannot solve poor economics if we are focusing on climate change. And we cannot eradicate climate change if we haven't solved poor economics. Think about poverty. How many farmers are dying now and you are telling us they are, they are going to be poor? They are already poor. Keep that in mind. Okay, let's go to fake, fake pastors. Do you know the story of Shakahola village? People are dying. They, are moved from, they have moved from 22 to 90. Now it's 30, 300 bodies. Is that number increasing or decreasing? Now we are heading about Pastor Ezekiel being a link of Pastor Paul Mackenzie. Now, how many people do they go to Pastor Ezekiel? Don't you see that is increasing? Or is that not a right issue? Human right issue? Okay. Let's go outside the world. There in Uganda, 1973, people burned themselves in a church. What about those? And you want to save them? Dead bodies. Let's go in South America. In 1999, people died there due to these this fake pastors who are coming and calling themselves prophets. Let's talk about national security. Are that not human rights issues? If you go to an uh, and mall, which you know that people have, some gangsters have come there and do their things and steal whatever they're stealing and kill many people. Will you be safe? Will you feel safe there inside? Will you buy your things? Will you remember what you have gone to, to buy? Or you'll just think about the people who have been robbed yet or people who have been died. Indeed, we need to solve the, the matters first. Yes, I'm accepting that climate change is an important issue, but not the greatest important human rights issue. Thank you. I would like to ask the first speaker there, our uh, opposers. They, he said that climate change consists of wind pattern and rainfall. For example, the rain can affect the rain can affect human rights when they they can lead to 
loss of right to shelter because when the rain rains, there can be floods and the rain can enter inside the house so someone cannot get a place to live. So I would like you to explain. You said that it, the climate consists of wind pattern and rainfall and you are saying that it is not the most human right issue while it is affecting the right to shelter. So I can't understand what you said. Uh, I amicably request the second speaker to explain to us uh, how can you plant, how can you solve problems of economics uh, by doing farming and this drought? Yeah. My question to the speakers, you said that you need to work on the, to first deal with the climate change. And hence our, our propo the opposer said that you need to work with the economy. How, if the economy is not good, how are you going to help the people who are affected by climate? You must have a, a good conversation, you must handle the economy so that when someone has been got by a flood or any climate has affected them, they can help them. That's my question. So, all right, first, I would like to thank my honorable member here who joined us by saying that she supports the fact that climate change is the most important human rights issue. Thank you for that. Secondly, I would like you to go back and review today topic and uh, that climate change is the most important human rights issue where it does not cause death and the people die, the people that are dying that you are speaking about Mackenzie, actually it's not that they are denied rights, they are the one denying their rights. Speaking of economic, actually climate change about economic, that cannot, okay, they don't handle, they don't get each other because there's no way you can count a bunch of notes when you, are, when you, have, you have held your breath. There's no point where you can get the last note. We know that economic, agriculture has 80% backbone of the economy. So there's no way you can handle agriculture and your economic is maybe you want it to be high. Does not make sense. Okay. About the demonstrations, you cannot demonstrate if you don't have right to right to life, if you don't have right to food. Because the Odingas, the Raila Odingas, once they go there, they are satisfied. And that's what they got the courage to stand there. My name is Dr. Bahacho Kuku. And excuse me, I have a call. Hello? What? 200 and... Ay, 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 ay. That's way too much. It cannot be. Okay, it's all right. We'll catch up later. Attention, everyone. 250,000 people. Imagine, they've died. And this is each and every year. Can you imagine that? Well, do you want to attend more funerals? Actually, no. This brings us into realization that climate change is the most important human right issue. The death is caused due to the exposure of extreme weather changes. We have more deaths than you know, and they're extreme dangerous. Cardiovascular disease is one of them. Waterborne diseases as well as heart stroke. You cannot control them because of climate change. All right, additional to the World Health Organization, it estimates that the climate could make an addition of 250,000 deaths, underline the word estimates. This is because unfortunately they haven't got the exact, the definite statistic of the people dying because there are too many climate change affects the most important. Agree with me? Okay. You ask yourself, by the vision 2030, are you going to be alive? All right. Climate change has direct impact on human rights, affecting fundamental rights of people. It's already contributing to displacement of food, insecurity, and extreme climate events. Climate change has got 90% significance in our rights and of our well-being. Actually, we are the first generation to feel the importance of climate change and the last generation to do something about it. 
Not forgetting that. I'm sorry, you have to excuse me once again. Hello, Dr. Susan. No, it's not that I'm blaming you. Actually, that's way too much. I think we should sit down and discuss on the importance of climate change to human rights issues. Thank you. Who is Raila Odinga? There are many Raila Odinga in the country, so be spe specific. <laughs> There are many Raila Odinga in the country. Even my grandfather is called Raila Odinga, so be specific. <laughs> my coordinate hasn't said serving poor economic plan economic is planting, but say to solve poor economic, then if we have rich economic will help us to be eradicate climate change. And who will attend funeral if if we are we are attend uh, if we are affected by climate change i think so go and research what is the meaning of climate change you are talking about you are talking about right to water is the right to water basic need you tell us you tell us to live right to basic need to focus on climate while focusing on right to basic water, need many people are dying. And if you say that the water are dirty, there's, there's many factories that the water are being clean. Example, the water that you have been given is well treated, well healthy. So another time, be specific. My point is about politics. Politics also affect human rights. <laughs> Who wants his father to die in the field of politics, in the field of demonstration? Think about your father is living in Nairobi. The former Prime Minister, Raila, sent his people to do demonstration. And the former Prime Minister is in, is, is in his house sitting and relaxing. Your father there is fighting for no reason. And if he's fighting there, he's come home. He's not been paid any money. And that affects right to education. Because if people are fighting, take an example, Russia and Ukraine. They're fighting. They have caused loss of life. They deny people right to life because they kill many people. A thousand of people they have died because of the fights. Many, many children have, have not gone to school because of fights. You cannot go to school, and if, you, if you're going to school, you're going to see your death. <laughs> Another point is importance of drugs. Importance of drugs like cocaine, mandrax, and many others. Add them to available. Let's take an example here in Kenya. Many children have gotten into thugs. They are smoke bang. And that bang is affect our minds. And if it affect our minds, they react disobedient. And if they react like that, they'll cause harm to people. They'll start killing people. They drop in their school. And that also affects right to education. Another point is terminal disease. Terminal disease affects the human rights. For example, cancer. If, imagine you are eight of you, your grandmother and your, and your father. Who will vote for you food? Your father's head is like a crocodile. Imagine who you look like. Thank you. My name is Dr. Zani from Brima Mix Secondary School. I have an umbrella to cover myself, and you don't have an umbrella to cover yourself. We all want to walk to Ujama Market. While I'm covering myself, am I not going to get wet? And while you are walking that way, are you not going to get wet? What I mean is that whether you think that you are protected 
or not, we are all going to be affected by climate change and its effects. The one who has covered himself with an umbrella is going to get wet at the bottom part, while you, you are going to get wet the whole of your body. What does it, what does it mean? We are all going to be affected by climate change and its effect, whether if we think that we are protected or not. Everyone across the continent is affected by climate change. Whether it is a prime minister, it is a president, or a queen, whatever. Everyone is going to be affected by climate change. Thank you, sir. Sky has not this. If you go through trees on skies and you go chanting in your head, don't knock a tree. Don't knock a tree. Guess what? You are, you are only looking at tree and a tree as an oppose and not focusing and following the path. Climate change affects human rights. I have said that. But I have not said that it is the greatest human rights issue because there are others greatest human rights issue. By saying this, I'm coming to the first point of Michael Lead. Let's go to politics. If we solve, poor, we, if we solve politic conflict, we solve economic. Now, if poor economic is solved, then we'll have rich economic, which will raise and will give the government a higher percentage of tax. And if the government doesn't do, doesn't do their corruption, and even don't focus on other things, like, don't focus on other things. Oh. Don't focus on other things, like political conflicts. Then they will use the money to solve climate change. Therefore, climate change is an important issue, but not the most or greatest human rights issue. Thank you. I had so much fun listening to you guys and also watching you do your craft. And uh, as we are doing it, I was asking myself which team is going to win because you are all coming out stronger in terms of personality and also character. And um, to say the least, Shikadabu Ganad. No, we'll begin with the Brim. Ah, ah, no, I think. Um, <laughs> um, which one do I say first? Second place or first place? Second place. Second place. Both. Both. <laughs> All right, we begin with um, second place with 75.2 points. And that is Shikadabu, second school. Thank you for that. And um, Mrima. Secondary school with 76 points.